love Twitter. You love posting your own status updates, keeping up with your friends and coworkers, and you love the power that it gives you to provide experience on what's going on in the news. You also have the power of the internet. You love that you're able to capture the moments in history in real time. Now, internet and mobile users are uploading thousands, if not millions of photos each day, and they're using tons of different platforms to do this. After they upload, they want to share with their friends, they want to share with their family, they want to share with their coworkers. They want to use any mechanism that they can to share and upload. This is chaos. And we created Groupie to organize this chaos. Groupie aggregates and organizes photos and uses a Wikipedia-style method of curation to provide a real-time, dynamic platform for viewing. Let me say this again. We aggregate and organize photos using a Wikipedia-style method of curation to create a real-time, dynamic platform for viewing. This style of aggregation and curation allows for a real-time experience of what's happening. At the same time, it also provides a crowdsourced archive of events for the future. Now, you may ask yourself, doesn't this already exist? Well, yes, to a certain extent it does. Twitter is great, and we use that for our real-time experience. And then we also have Google Images, we have Flickr, we have Picasa, and those are all great for the archived photo sharing experience. But none of these platforms are actually doing both of them together to provide every angle of the experience. And that's where Groupie comes in. Think back to a month ago when the uprising in Egypt was all over the news. Everyone was paying attention to this. It was not only a, a, serious, a serious event for the Egyptians, but it was also an important moment in history that's going to, remembered, going to be remembered for decades. Now, part of the reason this event was so memorable was because of all the different people that used the internet to share what was actually going on. So what happened, though? What happened to all these status updates, all these photos, all these videos that were being shared during this time? If Groupie was available for this, we would have been able to provide a platform that you don't have to search on, on Google, on different news platforms, or on Flickr. You would be able to experience a chronological perspective from everyone who is a part of this event. Groupie is free. Groupie is free for anyone to use. And companies, event organizers, media people, family, friends, your brother, anyone, everyone is is concerned and cares about what the people that they care about are doing. And so whether it's, a, whether it's a customer or a consumer of a product or service, someone attending a conference or event, or someone who's part of your inner circle of family and friends, we all care about what our own network is doing. So we'll create a freemium model where the average user has access to Groupie for free, but the more invested user who wants to curate their own event and use this content will pay a monthly fee. So this will allow users to extract more value from the wealth of content that we're already aggregating for their own use. So we're here seeding groupie.com. We're here at South by Southwest using the early adopters in this community to measure the impact that this application is going to make. So we hope that you'll check us out at groupie.com. It's G-R-U-P-I-I.com, groupieblog.com, and on Twitter, at groupie. Thank you.